You know, I've always described my affinity for TNA as a product and as a company as a love-hate or more so a love-to-hate type of relationship. It was always like a guilty pleasure. And I always loved to hate on things that TNA did. But I still loved the company and enjoyed them in an entirely unique and different way from what I would say with the WWE. And when it came to doing these videos on YouTube, as I've talked about before, you know, TNA was a very integral part and an important fiber of the being of establishing an audience and building that old Off the Rope Show channel. And, you know, it was always my thing that I enjoyed so much watching the show and then reviewing them, talking about the good things, and then especially talking about the many not so good things. But I used to have so much fun reviewing Impact, far more fun in a lot of cases than I ever did reviewing anything WWE related. That's for damn sure. So in, in a way, it really broke my heart when it got to the point with TNA last year where I just couldn't take it anymore. And really, I just couldn't take it anymore. It had gotten to that point where even when I tried and even when I struggled, there were no longer any redeeming qualities and not one single reason I could find within myself to continue to justify watching the product. And now as the company is airing on Destination America, I don't feel enough of a desire to go sit there and stream the crap. I most certainly don't feel strongly enough about the product to fork over the amount of money I would have to fork over in order to get that channel as part of a premium cable package. So I'm kind of left blowing in the breeze. I miss TNA. I miss Impact. Don't ever get it twisted. I do. I miss watching it. I miss when I had a passion about it, both the good and especially the bad. I miss talking about it. And this channel misses that. I miss talking to TNA fans about TNA. I miss pissing off TNA fans about TNA. I, I miss that. You know, so there's always that part of me that wants that back. But I just can't do it. I just can't bring myself to go back to it. Because every time I look and I read stuff and I see stuff, I see so many of the same things that drove me away from the company to begin with. And again, in some ways it was always a hot and cold love to hate off and on type of relationship. But I've been somebody that's watched TNA all throughout the years since the very beginning. When a lot of you talk about how much you love the company, it was somebody like me that was initially supporting that company by buying the $9.99 weekly pay-per-views. When a lot of you weren't even old enough to be able to do so without your parents' fucking permission. You know, I remember watching the first ever TNA show. You know, so... There is a big part of me as a wrestling fan that feels incomplete without watching TNA, without talking about TNA, without doing videos about TNA. There's a big part of me as a wrestling fan that I feel is gone. And I hope someday will return, but I just don't know if that'll ever happen. So, you know, I might as well sit here now and take a look and see, because I believe Slammiversary is coming up this Sunday. You know, one of the few real pay-per-views that TNA actually does. And hell, I even saw the other night on TV an advertisement for Slammiversary. Holy shit, what a novel concept. Advertise your product and people might actually buy it and watch it. I know. So let me go ahead and look here and see what we got. I don't even know what the Slammiversary card is for Sunday. I heard that they're bringing back the King of the Mountain match, and that's all fine and good, I guess. Um, but anyways, let's see what we got here. Here is the actual Slammiversary card. It's that. Okay. That looks dumb. Stupid. That's the type of shit is the reason why I don't watch. 
Uh, looks like a freaking card that belongs on television, not on pay-per-view, where you're expecting people to fork over big money for it. So what actually happened on this week's Impact episode? Hmm. Let's go over here and take a look. And yawn, yawn. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, no, they didn't. And most importantly of all, to his horse-faced bitch of a wife. 
and this freaking Memphis Midgard piece of crap. Fuck you both. And most especially in all, fuck Chuck Chart. Oh, and of course, let's not forget the stupidity of TNA. You bring back the guy that founded your goddamn company to begin with only four days before your biggest event of the freaking year, one of the few events you still expect people to pay a pay-per-view price for, and you expect this to be a good fucking thing. How the hell do you have enough time to promote this? How the hell do you have enough time to advertise this? How the hell do you have enough time to market this? People need to know that this egomaniac, blonde Memphis Midcard piece of crap is back, baby! And you only gave yourself four fucking days to do it! You stupid, incompetent fucks! Again, I have no choice! I must stream this pay-per-view on Sunday! I don't want to! I need to! I have to! Because Jeff Jarrett is that motherfucker! Fuck Jeff Jarrett!